What's up, bro? Who are you? I'm Chet. I'm your daughter's boyfriend, and we're gonna go down by the river. Is that your V6 Mustang out there? <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah, you dumped oil all over the driveway and you ran over my flower beds. My bad, bro, my bad. You know what, Chip? It's Chet, Chet. Oh, sorry, Chuck. You know what? I could actually use your help today. Are you interested? What do you, what, I guess so. A little further back, like five feet. What are we doing out here? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today, we're gonna find out, will a boyfriend stop a 50 cal? Wait, what? This episode is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans, and huge thanks goes out to them for making stuff like this possible, because as you guys know, it's hard being a gun channel on YouTube these days. Obviously, I love the support I get from sponsors like Vikings, and you guys, I would love it if you would support them as well. It's free to play, and just like me, within five minutes, you will be hooked on the game. It was inspired by some of the famous old school strategy and RPG games we grew up with in the 90s and early 2000s, like Red Alert. You build up your army and village, fight against other players, and the scale is insane. Over three million players in a single event. That's like whole countries fighting each other. You can decide how you want to play as well. You can go on the offensive, conquering everyone, or you can build a badass fortress, ally with other players, or go it alone. One thing I really do enjoy is that you can play whenever you want for however long you want. Five minutes or five hours, it doesn't matter. Don't forget to look me up using my nickname Dr. Demolition Matt and join my Vikings clan. I really like the game because I enjoy upgrading my armies and my defenses to be as strong as possible. So go help support my channel by downloading Vikings using the link in the description below. It is my link, it helps out what we do here. And if you do it, you get a bonus of 200 extra gold and a protective shield which would be super helpful to start. Let me show you what we're doing today. People keep asking Matt, why do you have a gas pump here? And I don't know, I just came across a gas pump. Was it completely legal? Meh, but we have it and it's awesome. And I got it because I was like, I just kind of want to know what happens when you shoot a, do you guys ever just drive past things and go, wonder if that stopped a bullet? Yeah, me neither. First up is the Canic, Shonic. Can it. We're gonna call it Canic. TP9 SFX. Let's go down low a little bit. Uh, gas is definitely pouring out of the line. Diesel is. Did not, did not think there was still gonna be stuff in there. Let's go investigate. So one went there, one went there, and one went right through there and through there. And definitely stuff poured out. Is it diesel or is it water? Oh, yep. Yeah, it's diesel. Being a safety conscious man, I'm, I probably, I probably should just not finish this video. Oh wait, I'm not a safety conscious man. <laughs> Let's do a few up top. The monitor area. And then maybe a couple through those walls there. That looks pretty good. And then let's just go. <laughs> up high. No stopping. Nope. Went straight through that thin metal. How did that happen? Dang it. There's a hit right there. Oh man, we busted our, our wires out. Okay, hit right through the screen there, right through that screen there, right through right there. Now, what made it through besides that? Oh, we got one made it through down here. That's it though, nothing else. There are no other bullets coming through here. Whoa, didn't know that opened up. That. Ladies and gentlemen, is what is inside. How did those stop? About every 30,000 miles, you change your oil filter on your gas pump. I shot like 15 rounds and two made it through, which means if your attacker was coming at you with a nine millimeter, you have a pretty good chance of staying alive if you hide behind a gas pump. But what if he's coming at you with something bigger? That's our cute little nine millimeter there. What about if we shoot a 357 Magnum? So the bullets are about the same, but you can see there's a lot more powder behind that one, meaning it is going way faster. And we'll be shooting it out of my Kunin 357 Magnum. Love this gun. You know what, let's just go ahead and do it one-handed right now. Let's shoot one in the bottom. Yeah, oh, hit the, uh, hit the hose again. Let's go bottom right over there. Yeah, oh, knocked the panel down. So that probably went through, hit that wall, and skimmed off and hit the panel again. Did it go through, that's the question. Let's go up through the screen area. 
Not sure if that one hit where I wanted, but it went close. Let's go to kind of the, where you're picking the gas. Dude, what a great shot. Just knocked the top off of that. And let's hit the, uh, the diesel handle there. Okay, let's see what we got. There's some holes here. How do we do on the other side? We did get one through the corner there. And everything else is still stopping in here, I guess. This is crazy. Uh, apparently all these pumps up here are really stopping everything. I'm calling these pumps, I have no idea what they are. Nothing's making it through those things or all the electronics up here. Uh, we have no other pass-throughs. With a 357 Magnum. Maybe the bullet's not big enough. 44 Magnum at one point was the biggest chambered pistol round. We're gonna shoot six at our gas pump. Let's see what we can do with it. Ow! <laughs> Maybe we'll just shoot one. No, okay, I'll do it. It doesn't feel great. Is it over? Oh, thank goodness. Didn't hurt at all. I'm tough. <laughs> I put some down here to see if we can hit those pump looking things. I also put some up here into the electronics. Still nothing has come through this side and nothing has come through this at all. What is in here? This is crazy. Um, we are leaking something out of that pump there. Yeah, we knew it'd come to this. We gotta step it up to a rifle. And here I have my Mini 14 chambered in 5.56. Such a good looking gun. But you know, I don't want to use this little baby magazine. <laughs> That's for kids. I want to use the MWG, the 90 rounder. Drum magazine for a Mini 14. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together like this? Mini 14 with a 90 round drum versus the gas pump. <laughs> My fingers are tired. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever done with the Mini 14. Not only is the Mini 14 smoking, but the gas pump is smoking as well. It's just gonna catch on fire. Why is it smoking? <coughs> oh man, we got some penetration now. A bunch actually. Turns out you just need to shoot like 90 rounds of something and voila, little bit coming through there, big one there, huge hole there. came straight through our screen over here. If the word void is visible on the seal, please let us know right away. The word void is visible. What do I need to do now? Just a gas pump smoking. This seems totally safe. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Oh, there's your problem right there. Dang, Mini 14, you crazy bro. Honestly though, Man, they just don't make them like they used to. With this many holes, probably 90 holes in the front, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maybe. Nine went through. I wanna find something that makes it through more reliably. So I was thinking the next caliber that would be really good to try on this would be a 308. And you're probably thinking Matt has a 308 or seven. Um, but I didn't have this one. And I, I may or may not have, I, I did. I, I, got, I got a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Carbon Fiber Christensen Arms MPR, stands for Modern Precision Rifle. I first was introduced to this thing on the Silencer Co. trip. They had one when they were showing off some suppressors. And it's so good. Lunkers played with it. He's a sniper in the army and he said he loved it. And so I was like, man, I need this in my life. And so this is chambered in 308. It has a 16 inch barrel and I'm gonna put a suppressor on it eventually. It's very loud because it has a short barrel. And it's carbon fiber, not only carbon fiber handguard, which you can see if it would focus, it also has a carbon fiber barrel, the carbon fiber cheek piece back here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do on the old gas pump. I'm gonna shoot that yellow on the left side try to get it in a place that I have not hit with the 5.56 yet. Hey! Oh. 
It's so loud. <laughs> I love 308. All right, let's go through that handle. Yeah. Smoked it. Oh, it's actually really smoking from the hole in the hose. Oh, it went through right there. Crazy. I thought I missed it. Here's the exit wound. So whenever I hit that, it started smoking out of one of the holes down there. Okay, so those are going through here, through that mess. I think we got two bullets through there out of the four I shot up there, and then I shot one down into the, the handle. So even a 308's not powerful enough. I have a 308 armor penetrating incendiary round. Incendiary round plus gasoline. That, now that should be fun. Silver tip, 308. These things are mean. Not only do they penetrate, they also explode when they hit things. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot one down low, kind of into the, the pumps down there. Oh dang, that's on fire. That was probably not a good idea. Yeah, uh, why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good plan? You know what would be a good idea? Shoot a freaking gas pump with an incendiary around. What to do, what to do? Oh, <laughs> we've, still, we've still got these. See, I do care about safety. They're totally not made to put out gasoline fires, but I think I can figure it out. Thank you, thank you very much. Did it go through though? That's the real quit. No, it didn't go through. It's extreme penetrator bullets. A giant round. For those who don't know, 4570 is a round that has been used commonly to kill elephants. And that was just a regular 4570 government round. This is a 4570 government plus P, meaning it's loaded hotter. And it has an extreme penetrator. I loaded three extreme penetrators up here and I plan to extremely penetrate that target. And after it's been extremely penetrated, we will go check out the penetration from the penetrators. Golly, love it. Love shooting this gun. Oh my gosh. You guys seeing this fireball? Okay, I mean, it doesn't hurt at all. Super easy. Ow. Oh, I forgot about this gun. Ow. Dang. Look at that penetration. Penetrated so hard, we sprung a leak. That is some mighty fine penetration. But not consistently. We didn't make it through on every shot. Like, like two of them went through. <sighs> There's only one thing left to do. No more of these like 350 grain bullets. Let's get it like a 3 million grain bullet. Let me introduce you to my brand new, to me, 1985 Chrysler 5th Avenue edition. I know, I know, you didn't know I was fancy. Well I am. Oh man, she wants to go. She wants to go! She wants to... Oh, just kidding. I'm not doing that. I am gonna do it, but not while I'm in the car. Oh yeah, V8, rear wheel drive. Why are you making so much noise? You know what, maybe I'll ask a buddy to jump in and help me out here. Thank you so much for doing this. It's so awesome to have a good friend like you who on a whim would just show up. Creepy cooter. We missed you, buddy. All right, so what I would say is give her a full send straight over there. Now, I am a little worried that you're gonna be scared and not hit the brakes and continue driving off through the forest there, so we are gonna toe strap you, the back of you, so you can't go too far. Before Cooter takes this car and slams it into the gas pump, though, uh, a lot of you guys may have noticed my shirt. We made these shirts not too long ago. It's for Game of Thrones because I was a big fan. They say all the time, the night is dark and full of terror. So we put an AR with an eye vision scope on it. And then the series finale came out and it was a big in my opinion. So I sent this to my friends. I marked out terrors and wrote terrible endings. And I, I did that with a Sharpie. And they were like, dude, I want that shirt. If you're interested, in a Game of Thrones, we hate you shirt. We're just gonna do a little pre-sale for three days in the description as well. Okay, Kurt, you ready, buddy?
you okay? He passed out. <coughs> you hit my dueling tree, Coot. It took all my targets way over here. That noise isn't good. Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye because I don't think my, my Chrysler's gonna hit a gas pump today. <laughs> uh, this is why we love having sponsors like Vikings, War of Clans, because we can make super high quality content like this. So if you'd like to see more of it, definitely come back next week because this is pretty much the pinnacle of my YouTube career so far. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby!